Hello gorgeous! I'm so excited because I have another hair tutorial for you guys and I haven't done one of these on my channel for a few weeks now. I do them a lot on my Instagram and if you're not following me on Instagram, go follow me over there because I do a few a week. First of all, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Alright, so this is one of my probably most requested hair tutorials from you guys. You want to see how to curl your hair with a straightener. Yeah, I'm going to show you how to do it so let's get started. So I have two different straighteners here with me today and this one is the Ferrum and this one isn't the one that I'm going to use because it doesn't get super hot on the outside. It, it gets warm but not super hot. You want one that's going to be ceramic and it's hot on both sides because you want your hair to curl all the way around it. So I'm using my Numi for this and it's turned up to 450. And the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have heat protectant on your hair. Um, I actually always apply heat protectant to my hair before I blow dry it. I use um, Kerastase and I'll link it below the exact one that I use because I don't even know how to pronounce the name. And But today I'm going to use a little bit extra spray because I'm going to be doing even more heat on top of heat because I dried my hair. I'm going to be using the Paul Mitchell Hot Off the Press. It's the Thermal Protectant Hairspray. And I'm just going to start by sectioning my hair just like you would when you're curling your hair. So however much hair you would typically curl around a curling iron is what you want to use. Think about it this way. When you're curling your hair on a curling iron, when you take a thicker piece of hair, it takes longer to curl. Um, with a straightening iron, it's different. The thicker pieces of hair just aren't going to curl at all because you're moving it through. It's not going to have time to heat up. So you want to try, you want to keep thinner pieces of hair when you're doing this. So think of it this way, and I know I've said this in other videos that when I, I personally wear my hair parted down the middle, but any hair that's framing my face, I curl away from my face. So think that you have your hair and it's completely parted all the way down the back. So all of your hair on this side of your head is going to curl towards the back of your head. All the hair on this side of your head curls towards the back. If you get up here and you kind of get to that section of, well, I don't know which way it's going to fall, then curl all the way back. Clamp it up towards the base of your hair. Twist, hold your hair out, and just pull down. Kind of twist as you're pulling down. And give your hair enough time to get warm on the outside. And there you go. You kind of have to have a little bit of patience when you're doing that because you need, like I said, the outside of this gets super, super hot. So you need to allow the hair on the outside that's touching this to have enough time to get warmed up to, turn, to curl. Clamp. I'm going to twist it once. Take this hair out, hold it, and just work my way down. And kind of twist a little bit as you're going down. Not a full twist, but you know, just kind of to keep the curl going. There you go. So sometimes when I get to the end of the curl, I like to just roll it back up and hold it there in place for a few minutes because, or not a few minutes, but a few seconds just so that it gets really good and heated around, all around the straightener and it gives you just a really great structure to your curl because it's, it's, almost, it's almost acting as though it's a, a curling iron or a curling rod. As you can see, it just gives you a really, really nice bounce to your curl. So I like doing that sometimes. All right, so I have all of my curls done. And as you can see, it re the straightener does just as great of a job with curls as a curling iron does. I mean, really. Um, I would add a little bit of my favorite hairspray. It took me a while to understand that what the way of the flipping the hair and having the piece hang out and pull it down. I kept trying to curl, like twist it, and it was getting caught, and it was like, what am I doing wrong? But yeah, I, I think that once I, it clicked with me that I'm like, no, you just wrap it once and pull down. Just a little bit of a, just a little bit of a twist. It's really a cool technique and it's really, I don't know, it's, it's easier than it looks. So give it a try if you haven't already. And if you have and you failed, try it again. Watch, watch what I'm doing step by step and mimic, copy that, that little twirl thing right there. Let me know in the comment section below, do you prefer this style of curls or do you prefer using a curling iron? And I'm gonna list for you below my new me straightening iron that I used and um, my dry, or I'm sorry, my hot off the press, Paul Mitchell hot off the press, the thermal hairspray, as well as my, this is my new favorite hairspray. It's the Fae 4 textured takeover. It's the oomph 
oomph enhancing hairspray. I am such a dork. Guys, let me know what you think. I really, really like this. I hope you enjoyed it. And let me know if you have any com or, uh, requests for any tutorials or, or videos or reviews or anything like that in the comment section below as well. Come visit me over on Snapchat. I saw a lot of you guys were asking what my Snapchat is. It's just my name, Angela Lanter. I love talking to you guys over there. I'm doing a lot of recipes daily and fun things like that. And let me know what my next video should be because I have no idea. I thought about doing a contouring and highlighting of your boobs to show how to, you know, get the, the girls lifted a little bit. If that's something you want to see, let me know in the comment section. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today, and I love y'all so much. Au revoir. So I am going to show you this very simple, very clean, classic makeup look, and also this great hairstyle to keep your hair up and out of your face. Thank <laughs> you.